I call the first one the Haley Astrowski method and the other one the Astrowski Lagrange method. I dedicate this talk to Bill Zimmerman, who is a fellow HHG attendee. Unexpectedly, he passed away a few months ago. He was supposed to be here this weekend, so we will certainly miss him. Uh, Bill and I would, would chat regularly on Facebook, so I will miss him too. We start looking at the legacy method. Of course, just about everybody knows about Newton's method. It has a second order convergence rate. And the way it updates the current guess for the root is by value, taking values out of, of that value for the function and the first derivative. And this is the simple formula where we update the guess for the root. Now Haley's method, Haley was a friend of Newton and actually developed a method that's a third order convergence rate. And Haley uses the function first and second derivative in this a bit more complex uh, uh, equation to update the guess and give us the new guess. Somewhat more recent, not very legacy, is Ostrowski. Alexander Ostrowski was a Russian mathematician who spent most of his life teaching at the University of Basel in Switzerland, where he sat out World War II without, you know, getting much hassle. Anyway, Ostrowski, <laughs> I believe, is one, uh, his claim to fame is, for the first time, until then, each iteration had exposed you to two uh, 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 guesses uh, uh, for the roots. At the initial one, entering the iteration, and at the end, you have a new one. Well, he decided he would add a, a, an additional interim value, call it z. And he would calculate z using Newton's method, the regular one, and then reuse z in this sort of kind of weird expression he concocted to update. So you have uh, x of i, z of i, and then x uh, of i plus 1. So keep that in mind. Uh, we will come back later on. Uh, <coughs> Ostrowski improved Newton's method, but did nothing about Haley's method, not that I know of that's been published. So I decided, well, why don't I use Ostrowski's approach to enhance Haley's method? And here's the pseudocode, pseudo sorry. And I start, uh, for practical purpose, by saving the, the value of the function as, as, of, the, of the current guess in f of 0. And then I start the loop. Here I calculate an increment based on the current guess for the root x. And then I calculate, uh, evaluate the function value at x plus h and x minus h. And I use these values to calculate the uh, estimates for the first and second derivatives using the central difference algorithm. And those are more accurate than the forward or backward differences. And then this is the equation where you, you calculate the refinement in the guess. This term here after the one uh, 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 shrinks to small values the closer you are to the root. And uh, we calculate uh, z, like uh, Ostrowski does, evaluate the function at z. And then here I've noticed that I need to check the absolute value of d. If it's less than h, then I assign that value to h. Uh, if I don't, uh, stuff will go haywire. And then I re-estimate uh, uh, the first and second derivatives. Uh, and here I'm using the approach uh, from the Ostrowski method. And here I'm using the central difference. I simply replaced f of 0 with fz, but I kept using f sub p and f sub m. And that seemed to work fine. Uh, I re-estimate the difference in the root. Here I replace f of 0 in the original equations with f of z. And of course, I have the, the, the new version of the first and second derivative estimates. And I calculate the, uh, the, new, the new root. Uh, from z and evaluate it to prepare it for the next loop. And I loop until the absolute value of uh, f of 0, the function <coughs> value, is less than a, a function tolerance value. And when I exit, uh, x gives me the refined uh, guess for the root. Here's a simple example I, uh, on Excel. My favorite test <coughs> function, e to the x minus 3x squared, with the absolute, uh, uh, with the f 
a function value of uh, e to the minus 9. And I'm comparing Newton, Haley, Ostrowski, and Ostrowski Haley. And Newton has eight iterations with 16 function calls, while Haley and Ostrowski both have uh, four uh, function calls with uh, 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 four iterations with 12 function calls. And the Ostrowski Haley has three iterations, also uh, uh, 12 function calls, because each iteration needs the four function calls. Uh, that was a sample. I did run uh, the algorithms through a battery of tests. And here are the comparison. I have two sets of columns. The, the left columns show the number of function calls, while the right uh, column, the number of iterations. And you can see that the highlight it shows uh, which is, is better. Um, that the Astros Haley Ostrowski method does fairly well. It's, it's, it's an improvement, and here's, a, here's the other set also. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a success. It's not like you know, super success, but it does okay. So, so the enhancement of Haley using Astrowski's appro uh, approach does work. Now, we go, and here's an uh, HP Prime uh, program, and it follows the pseudocode very faithfully. Um, you know, it's almost line by line matches. And uh, I, I, uh, using the test function, I give it initial uh, guess of 4, minus 1, and 1. And I get roots near 3.733, minus 0.458, and 0.91, as expected. Now, when we go back, it, as, uh, as Trotsky, each iteration, we had three guesses for the root with a uh, uh, function evaluated at uh, these guesses. So we have three points. And that made me think, ah, I can uh, do an additional en enhancement of the guess using an inverse like quadratic Lagrangian interpolation. The advantage is I don't have to evaluate uh, any more functions, just work with these values. Uh, and since uh, Ostrowski has a very good uh, convergence rate, I think it's at least fourth order, maybe more, uh, the inverse quadratic should work fine, and it does. Uh, and I start uh, with, as before, I evaluate the function at the initial guess <coughs> stored in F0. That gives me my first uh, element, which I store these values in uh, xr, the first index, uh, first element in xr and yr. And then I start my loop. I save uh, x into the uh, last x, uh, estimate a small increment based on x. Here I only calculate uh, f sub p at x plus h. And I estimate the derivative using the forward difference method. And then, uh, uh, I, uh, like with Ostrowski, I do the intermediate guess and then evaluate the function at z. That gives me my second point, And I store these values in the second element of uh, arrays uh, uh, xr and yr. And then, as with Ostrowski's equation, I refine the, the guess further into x, evaluate uh, the function at x, and that gives me my third point. So I have the three points uh, that I want. Here I have to test, make sure that no two elements in the array yr are equal. Uh, as you get closer to the root, that, that could be a problem. So as long as this condition is uh, uh, no two elements uh, are equal. I can go ahead and do the inverse quadratic uh, uh, interpolation, seeking for, uh, trying to calculate the interpolated value of x for y int 0. I get that value, store it into x, evaluate f of, uh, uh, f of uh, uh, f the function at x. And now to prepare for the next loop, possibly, I store the current value of x and f of 0 in the first element of arrays uh, xr and yr. And I loop here until the absolute value uh, uh, of the difference between x and the last x is less than the tolerance value, or the absolute function uh, that I just calculated is less than the uh, fx tolerance, the tolerance for the function. And when this condition is uh, for, uh, true, then I return x as the refined guess for the root. Uh, again, here, 
Uh, I've used Excel again with my e to the x minus 3x. Now we ha have two tolerance. This one is the tolerance now for the for x itself, and this is the function tolerance value. Results are a little bit different than before. Again, uh, we have eight iterations with Newton, requiring 16 function calls, and I have five iterations for Haley and Astarsky, requiring uh, 15 function calls. Uh, Astrowski Haley has four iterations requiring 16 function calls, and Astrowski Lang branch has two iterations requiring <coughs> nine function calls. There's a big difference. So uh, uh, it, it's funny, I think before legacy mathematics, legacy algorithms avoided uh, the Lagrangian interpolation because it involved a lot of calculations, but today with today's computer, these sort of uh, 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 double loops and all that, it's, it's no, no burden on, on a computer to do. Uh, again, I have the uh, battery of tests. Uh, the uh, left side is the number of function calls and then the number of iterations. And see how the uh, Astrowski Lagrange uh, does better. Here it's like absolute master. And the same thing here, you can see it does much better. And that gave me a thought like, hey, uh, of course it's easy because uh, uh, Ostrowski's iterations had exposed me to three root guesses. But if I can finagle my way and go back and adapt it to bisection, uh, oh, with, uh, bisection and all that, uh, the results turn out to be, uh, and even Newton, the results turn out to be, eh, you know, and I'll, I'll discuss that later on. Here's an HP prime listing for, for, uh, for, the, uh, for uh, my test functions. It uh, follows the, uh, the uh, uh, pseudocode faithfully and expands on it. Here I'm creating the arrays that I need. And then this is pretty much like uh, before. Here, of course, you see the details of uh, the inverse uh, quadratic Lagrangian interpolation. I'm making sure that no two elements in the array Y are, are equal. And then I initialize uh, x, uh, x int y int y int stays the same, and then I have the nested loops, and I calculate uh, uh, x int, uh, and then uh, use it uh, like I showed you before in the uh, uh, in the pseudocode. And here again, I'm running it uh, the ostlang uh, with initial guesses of five minus two and one and giving us uh, familiar uh, values that are familiar to us about the roots. Uh, like I said, uh, what can the, Lagran the inverse Lagrangian step do for the other algorithms? You have to be a little bit finagled because it, most of them had just two guesses per iteration, the initial value and the updated value. I managed, but I was very disappointed. Bisection is just not worth it. Newton, eh, it did okay. But with the Ostrowski's method, the, the results are spectacular. So it's sort of like, the effect is like, a, it's not adding, but it's like scaling. So, you know, like they say, it's like a percentage of <laughs> zero, 10% of zero is zero. If, if the algorithm was not doing well, the, the, the inverse Lagrangian inter interpolation is not gonna really enhance it. So here because the convergence rate is good and your roots, uh, the, the, the guesses are really converging to, to the root, uh, the inverse Lagrangian interpolation really helps uh, better. So, and that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, all right. Thank and you.